How to use Zookeeper command line interface wizard KCLI. I am assuming that you already installed Zookeeper server, client and command line tool. So let me find the location of command line interface wizard KCLI. So you can use the locate command. So it's here. It means cd2 that location. So here we can see set kcli dot sh. Next, I am going to find the process ID of Zookeeper's server. Process ID is 1150. So using that process ID, we can find the port port of port number of zookeeper server. So we can use this netstat command and then grab. for this process ID 11501 so here you can see the port number is 2181 so let me connect to me connect to the zookeeper server using this command line tool so we can use this command. Is it kcli dot sh minus server? So if you have not this, it has only one minus. Then the IP of the server, then the port number. So it's connected, connected to the zookeeper server. Next, I'm going to show some CLI commands. First, we can use the help. So, help will show some commands like connect, get, ls, means list, set, close, cute. Okay, let me try ls. ls then we need to display the path slash slash is the new uh, root node under slash you can see in this setup you can see five nodes so let me go to this node plus slash and this one Under this FQ name to UU ID node, you can see a lot of child nodes. So, if you want to go to one of the child node, you can copy the name of that particular child node. Then, upper here. So, under that child node, there is no more other nodes. So that's the last node. Okay. So that node will let me check. So if you want to get the data from that node, you can use the get command. So under this node, this node has a data. This is a data. Actually, this is a UUID. Using this get command, you can get the data stored in this node. 
so if you try get in this node see here data is empty so it has no data nothing is saved here similar to get uh, there is a set command so you can set the data set then the path then the data if you want to put the version you can use the version so you can also delete the path see here delete path 